What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Mount Tanner. My name is Splattercat and we are here today playing State of Decay, which is a game that has just grabbed me as of late and I decided I would bring you guys along for this long zombie annihilating blasting adventure. I've got a couple of zombies over here. So I'm gonna see if I can go around the front maybe. Oh, we've also got one that sort of glitched through the fence. In case I didn't mention it, this game is actually like in an early beta state right now sort of. So a lot of things aren't completely ironed out, like sometimes you'll find animations and things of that nature that aren't quite where you would want them to be. I think we want that truck. I, I'm willing to bet we probably have a pretty good walk in front of us to get to. Well, it just wants me to go right there for now. It wants me to leave Mount Tanner. But in the last episode, we had found some other survivors over a walkie. And the game had thrown us into it pretty rapidly. Like, the game doesn't have a whole lot with regards to storyline when you first start out. The introduction is basically go, 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 like the whole time. So hopefully we'll find ourselves a little bit of narrative once we get further along. Let me see if we can sneak around this fence. There's a zombie. Oh, no. There's a zombie back behind that truck. I don't know how this is going to work for us. I may... Oh, well, that wasn't my plan. You can fatality the zombies if you get a jump on them. Oh, my kukri broke. Let me back off here for just a second. I'll let everybody else... Uh, everybody else, help me. Beat them to death. Use her kick. Huzzah! Walker, Texas Ranger mode. Ooh, and then he got in there dirty mode style. Finished him off with a vengeance. Smack his head into the concrete. Let me jump into my inventory really fast and see if I've got another weapon here that I can use. I do. I have a machete. So let's use the machete. Oh, that one worked even better than the kukri. I'm pretty happy about this machete. That or I got lucky and just killed him in a couple of blows. But either way... Oh, there's a bunch of them in there. Their eyes glow too. That's a little unnerving. Very nice. She choked him out like crazy MMA style. That one's got an arm off. He's missing a rather large percentage of his torso. My guess is that we're probably going to find something in here. It said that it was like a hardware store or something. An industrial supply store. That's what it is. So let's get up on this shelf and see if there's anything here that's going to be worthwhile to have on hand. I'm willing to bet we'll finally find something good. Just some pills, actually. I was hoping for something... Oh, there's nothing left. Well, we're pretty low on supplies right now with regards to weaponry. Once my machete breaks, I am pretty much going to be up the creek. Let's see if we can use this vehicle. Oh, we can. Amazing. So we can drive this around. I'm going to try and avoid getting... Oh, it's been two seconds and I've already run into a stump. How very, very unfortunate. Now, I don't see anything off that way. I don't know how the game notifies you if there's like little nodes or anything to search or if you just have to see them with your eye hole. And if that is the case, then I suppose I should probably keep an eye out. So if my camera work seems sporadic or otherwise sketchy, bear with me. I'm just kind of looking around trying to figure out the hell. I can just open the door. Hey, hey, none of that. I'm trying to damage the, the Norma, the HMS Norma. And what is... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so that bridge is out. Back over some zombies here. Oh, no. Well, at least we killed a couple. Hold B for the handbrake. So we can get some... Oh, we can, like, fishtail it out. All right. That seemed like he got a lot more air off that than he should have. Either way, though, I got the job done. I don't know if there's anything out that way that we haven't checked out already. Let me take a look at the map and figure out where we're at. I can't tell if those are the campsites that we've already been to. I think they probably are. But it seems like this game is the sort of game that might, like, really reward you for wandering around. Since the bridge is out, I'm not really sure what our options are going to be. See if maybe either side has, like, a road that goes down or something. I'd prefer to stay in the vehicle. There's nothing wrong with pulling turtle mode and having a hard metal shell around us that keeps us from being devoured. I mean, with regards to Ed, he's kind of in the back, so I guess he's kind of screwed either way. But, And obviously, I'm never going to turn down an opportunity to run over some zombies. Is this where we were before, where we picked up Maya? Let's take a look. 
No, I guess it's not. I don't see anything up and in there, though. Our paint job is rapidly turning into like a red hue. It's no longer the front of our car, no longer looks blue. You see how many of these dudes. Oh, the car is like smoking and kind of upset with us. The car is definitely putting off fumes, which is never a good thing. Well, this is it, guys. God, there's so many. Alright, it's time to get real. Let's see what kind of damage we can cause. Whew. That was a lot of zombies. Oh, their chunkies float down river. That is gnarly. That is actually really, really bloody. That's crazy. All those little bits and bobs that fall off of them. They head downstream. That's wild. Got even more coming from this direction. We're going to find ourselves some weapons. Like, no joke. We just hit level 4 with our fighting technique. So our kung fu bujitsu skills are getting a little bit better. I don't see anything... I think that's the side that we wanted right there, not this one. So I'm going to bypass it. Let's head downstream and figure out if maybe there's going to be an easier way. I mean, we're going to lose our vehicle either way, which is kind of a letdown. You never want to lose the whip while you're out here trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. Oh, I was going to sneak up and, like, choke him out, man. Instead, just run up on him super, like, gangster mode. Just, like, getting rid of and disposing of any type. God, I feel like the thumbstick actually moves the camera like really, really slowly. Should probably adjust that at some point. I don't know, mate. Looks like we could climb up over here, maybe. Let's take a look down this way. Maybe see if there's anything at the end of the river. Guess not. Where you're really gonna see the problem with me using a controller is when I have to actually aim at something. I am pretty much the worst Xbox gamer on earth when it comes to like shooting at targets using the triggers and the thumbsticks. It's, I've just spent too long as a PC gamer, I can't recover. I'm just not a worthwhile cause. Just don't even try. Just hope that you're on the other team and that I'm not on your team whenever you go into like an Xbox Live game. We're headed your way. You said you were a hold up in a church? What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? No cell reception at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy people tried to eat us. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first, it was just weird stories on the news. Random maulings, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky. Just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet. A little busy for that, don't you think? Is that it? It seems like they broke off the conversation. Hey, 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 hey. Who's slapping over here? I can handle. They were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty. A little busy for that, don't you think? So, anyways. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else. They just keep coming. So you're saying those things are zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space. Or black magic. Or or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So, wait a minute. What's the government response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's been total chaos. At first, they told us just to stay home, lock our doors, and make to be all clear. Then the power died. No one ever sounded the all clear. There's a couple zombies out and about, and our hood is now messed up. That's disappointing. I like this station wagon. Cars seem really fragile in this game. We're gonna have to find ourselves another vehicle fairly shortly. That or avoid running over zombies, but where's the fun in that? Let me see if I can catch this guy with the car door. And boom. <laughs> that was way more entertaining than it should have been. No, I meant, oh God. He went straight spider monkey capuchin mode on us. All right, I'm gonna get out the car and clean him off. Get off the side of my car, man. See, maybe we, yeah, here we go. There's like a little, like, Volkswagen rabbit type looking thing, or like a Geo or something over here. 
We'll take that if we need to. Kill that balding zombie very rapidly. Yeah, you think? They're coming out to greet us at least. At least they're friendly zombies. They're zombies with manners. Don't let it get up. Let's take a look over and inside this area, although I think it's probably a terrible idea. Well, nothing pertinent. Let's bust down the door. Zombies? Be cool, zombies. Oh, God. Every time. So we've got another industrial supply store. Let's figure out where these nodes are at where I can loot some stuff. Because our weapons are looking less than apt. They are not up to the task, I guess. You got a big old hiking backpack over here. I'm going to search quietly because I don't really know what else is in the vicinity. So I'm just going to keep on the down low for now. Got 10 bullets for a 9mm. And what is this? Like Ipecac or something? Tussin. Numbs the pain but won't help serious wounds. Tastes like ass but knocks out just about anything. Okay. And if we really want to, we can trip balls by drinking a whole bunch of it. I mean, if we get bored... I don't know what there's going to be. I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of opportunities for boredom while we're running around in this zombie-laden wasteland, but... We're going to avoid that zombie over there. Something's still moving around in here. Oh, yeah, the door was over here. I forgot where my access point was. That one's halfway through the wall, so he's got crazy, like, powers or something going on. No. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know if maybe anybody else wants to get in here and help out with these guys, but you know, jump in whenever you feel ready, mates. Eat some pills real quick, make myself feel a tad better. That's a little weird that they jump like that and there's like no way to circumvent it. Then again, it didn't do a lot of damage, so I guess I'll live with it. Let's see if I can choke this zombie out. Well, that didn't work. That was a shove, not a choke out. Two completely different things. See if there's anything on this pallet, aside from bags of God knows what cinder blocks. I'm lucky they didn't hear that. And we've got a cracked pipe, nice. and some construction materials. So I guess we'll open these on up. Oh, hey now, we got a pipe threader and a sledgehammer. No way, we're just moving on up in the world. Well then. How do I want to do this? We're going to have to leave something. I'm going to leave the flares. The firecrackers I'll hold on to. The sledge, though. I definitely want the sledge. The machete's about to die on me anyways, which leads me to believe I should probably just get rid of it and take the pipe threader, just so we've got something to mess around with. So a slow swing right there, but it brings down the thunder of Thor upon any enemy that gets in the way. Check this toolbox, and then we'll pop that door open over there and see if there's anything on the other side worth noting. Got another construction bundle, so we'll break that open. It's a heavy, reliable wrench. We've also got some 357 rounds, a 2x4 that's got nails in it, another pipe threader. So basically a lot of stuff that's actually looking pretty useful to us. However, we could definitely use a bigger... Oh, there's a zombie right there. Well then. I want to swing wide. We got zombies to the left. Well, there were zombies to the left. Search this thing over here. We've got an axe. Time to channel your inner woodsman. I'm going to get rid of that right there. We'll take the axe instead. I don't really know what to do with the rest of this stuff. I'm a tad disappointed that I can't carry much more. We've got a lot of ammo on us, but I want even more ammo. If I could load up the trunk of a car, that would be the absolute optimal situation. Let me see if maybe I can check the trunk of one of these cars. No. Weak. Well, at the minimum we can test out this sledgy. Ooh, I like it. Me likey very, very much. Looks like there's a bunch of stuff in the back of this place too. This might be a location worth noting to come back to later if we find ourselves low on supplies or if we just need like a hole up location, I guess. 
There are some rather large sort of bay windows over there that I don't think are going to make it securable, but I don't even know if that's the point of this game. So before I get much further, oh, straight over the barbed wire, like a bamf, not even caring at all. And beat to death before she hit the ground. God, Sledgy's doing work. I like it. I like it a lot. Can we jump this, or is it going to hurt me if I try? Oh, never mind. There's a there's a gate right over there. I'm an idiot. Let's go over here, and I don't see anything, but I've seen lootables with those same graphics over there. So let's see if maybe one of these are lootable as well. We'll come back later, though, if we find ourselves low on melee weapons, which seems like it might happen. It may be in our best interest, actually, just to find a base at this point. Some place that I can drop off some of this loot. Let's jump in the rabbit here, or whatever this thing is, and get moving. Ooh, this one's a little bit more zippy than the other ones. I'm going to try and miss as many zombies as possible. Except for with my door, because it's entertaining. Let me have a look at the map. And it looks like our next location is the church in this rather large city. That could become a problem, because cities tend to be sort of overloaded with zombies. And you'll notice the game keeps going while I'm looking at the map, too, so you're, like, never safe in this game. Look at the wheels. The wheels are like jiggling on this thing. I think I feel like they're about to fall off. The entire zombie apocalypse to find a car in, and I got the only Tinker Toy Hot Wheels type of vehicle in the entire place. It would figure. Oh, and that's a chunking load time right there. So apparently the game chunks. If you don't know what chunking is, chunking is what free world, like open world games use. How'd you end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up in the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad! You want to confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Yeah, okay, baby. We leave that part out. Anyways, as I was saying, chunking is a phenomenon that happens... Lily! Did you invite these strangers? I'm good. You made it. That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. We'll see to those. God ones. damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girl's got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour. All right, well, let's do it. Let's have ourselves a tour. Hopefully she's one of the good tour guys that you get when you go on vacation and not one of the terrible ones. It's just like, here's the bathroom, here's the banister in the hallway. Like, wow, fantastic. Our car kind of exploded over there. I don't know why. I'll tell you guys about chunking in a minute. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. It's going to be one of those tours. I knew it was going to be one of those here's the kitchen tours. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but... Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here, and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger. But my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think. I haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, sir. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. Okay, so it looks like they've got some kind of barter system in place that actually seems kind of cool, where the stuff you bring back in store allows you to draw out other stuff that you may need in the future. I think that's a pretty badass way to go about the game, because that is sort of the concession that you would make in a situation like this. Like, you would have to, you know, you'd have to pull your own weight. 
But that also means I need to be bringing back everything I can since everything is worth points. I'm going to put that in there so I can get a little bit more influence. The food, sure, they can take a couple of my extra Twinkies. The gun, I'm going to hold on to because you never know. I don't know if we're going to come across bandits or like marauders or anything in the future where we really need a firearm in order to keep ourselves safe, but I'd rather not take the chance. They can take the Tussin, the firecrackers, and sure, they can take some of the bullets too, I guess, since all I have are 9 millimeters. Do they have any 22s? Oh, they do. Maybe I should snag myself some 22 caliber then. Let's do that. We're going to take all the 22 that they have on hand just in case. A 22 not going to be a whole lot to drop a human being unless you can hit them square between the eyes. But it might be useful like in a rimfire type individual. Oh, like a rimfire type situation where maybe you can catch a zombie in the head and bounce around. I don't know. Slice and dice their brains or something. I have no idea. I'm just bullshitting at this point. Hey, Lily. Oh, walk with Lily. I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign. Especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily. He's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... Okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? Yeah, okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Her shirt says big dick on it. <laughs> Here. Why would you Wait, wear that? What? There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. I owe you one. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rain Alan in. God. Lay of the land is the next quest. I don't know if I would wear a shirt called, like, a shirt that says Big Dick on it. I mean, that either makes you out to be an asshole, or unless you're the kind of person who likes to wear your Christmas list on your chest. I just don't see a whole lot of ways that that shirt's gonna help you out in life. Just don't see it. So am I on my own now? Like... Like, where is... Let's see here. Where did Maya go? Because I feel like we could probably use anybody. He won't come with me. Ed's not looking so good, so obviously he's down for the count. He's a victim already. I don't even know what to say about Ed. But we need to have a look around and figure out, like, somebody needs to come with me when I go out and adventure because I can't watch my own back. Like, going out alone just seems like a really, really, really bad idea. It's reckless, is all I'm saying. Run from the family. Jacob and Thomas are both AWOL. <laughs> this isn't the first time. Those two are gonna get themselves killed one of these days. Jake wouldn't be much of a loss, but Thomas is pretty good with that revolver. You're a cold-hearted son of a bitch, you know that? Holding hands and singing Kumbaya isn't gonna keep us alive. Folks around here ought to remember that. Cool. So I can tell already we're probably not welcome here. It's... Is what it is. An infestation has been discovered. I don't even know what that means. We'll figure that out shortly, but that doesn't seem like something I want to take on by myself. Where did Maya go? I mean, it's sort of dark. Can I sleep? It doesn't look like I can. And that's a problem. Because I don't really want to be wandering around at night, so sleeping would be one of those things that I would just do just so it'll be daylight when we get on out of here. Plus, it's kind of dark and I'm having trouble seeing. Oh, there's Maya. Let's see if she'll come along with us. We could definitely use some help. What's the word? Let's move. 
All right, so the morale went up by quite a bit right there. I don't know exactly know why, but I'm not going to go out by myself. I also think it might be a good idea to take the stuff. I think Maya How's it going? had something in her inventory. Yeah, she was pretty much full up, so maybe I should donate a lot of her stuff over here to the greater good as well. Just so we have the points we need if things kind of snowball on us. She obviously doesn't need the extra 22, so we'll throw that in there. The 45s, I'm not going to use, and they cost as much to take out as they cost to put in. So, not a whole lot of complaints right there. We'll put those in. We've got two medicines and some Twinkies. I think I'll hold on to those. Well, I don't know, guys. I have no idea what I should be doing right now. They got Molotovs. Oh, firebombs. I apologize. Coffee. We've got homemade suppressors. Oh, wow. Cool. It's like silencers and stuff. And then we got some extra backpacks. What's up? Okay, let's swap back to Marcus. Grab the 22s out of there. I don't know if you can trade in between yourself. I'll probably fiddle around with it in between episodes. Figure out if maybe you can hand stuff off or not. So we've got, I think, it's a six shooter, right? Yeah, okay. So it carries six rounds. So we should be all right there. Let's get the hell on out of here and see if maybe there's anything we can track down. Son of a bitch. Can't trust anybody to know there's shit around here these days. I don't know. If we don't get some more food soon, we're gonna start having riots. People are having a heated conversation. Let's go listen in. Let's snoop. Oh, apparently we aren't invited to the conversation. So I guess I'll get on out of here. It's one of those taco burrito things. Nachos. Just to finish the joke. Can I climb up this? I was going to say, maybe there's like an advantage point up there. I mean, I'm not trying to turn this into like Assassin's Creed or anything, but... You know, if you can climb a lattice work, climb a lattice work. Bust the gate open. We can't just open the gate, we have to throw a shoulder into it. That's the only way. I'm going to take this F-250 and just get the hell on out of here. How did you all end up at the church anyways? Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up... Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you? No. There used to be twelve of us. Huh. <laughs> Well, the odds are already looking good for us now. Got a 50% survival rate here. Oh, missed. Can't trust me to do anything. Or hate you. There we go. Zombies are down. Let's check out this house. Available for sale, so it's probably going to be completely empty. <laughs> that was a nice beefy sound. I like that. Maya's going to handle the rest of the issue. The house does have resources that we can loot, so let's have a look around. See if maybe there's any goodies that we can put to better use than just kind of sitting around. They've got a refrigerator, that's cool. An old refrigerator. One of those refrigerators from like back in the 50s, where they wore, where they weighed like as much as a car. They also had interesting colors. Some Twinkies, take those. I don't know how our society is going to survive just on Twinkies, but if anything could sustain us through this whole thing, it's going to be Twinkies, because I believe. I'm going to check this as well. Hopefully nothing comes busting in through the window while I'm trying to look around. I'm a little concerned about this infestation situation. I guess I'll deal with that later. Got a frying pan and an alarm clock. Looks like we can use that to bait zombies back in or something. I'm going to switch to Maya since his inventory is full. What's working as our flashlight right here? Or is it just magic light from beyond? Take it kind of slow coming upstairs. It's a bit too much lens flare too, or I'm sorry, there's a bit too much like flaring of the light. It makes it kind of difficult to see, but there we go. So there's a zombie down, splattered his brains all over the wall. Apparently there's still stuff left in the house. I've been thinking about a lot of stuff lately, and something occurred to me. We don't know squat. Wait, what? I mean when it comes to long-term survival. Like, I've got my dad's old notebooks, and I'm sure some people here have at least worked on a farm. But if we had reference material, we could do a whole lot more. Yeah? Well, since we don't have the internet anymore, I'm thinking we should start assembling a reference library. Books on gardening, electrical engineering, carpentry, anything we can get our hands on. We gotta start somewhere, right? 
Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I'm actually really interested in like the building options that we're gonna have as we go through the game. It says I haven't gotten anything, everything, but I don't see anything else lootable. I thought there was a guy standing there with a knife from the shadow. I was like, really? Things aren't bad enough. We got zombies. We have to have crazy serial killers too. Maybe there's stuff outside actually. If this place has a garage or anything else that we can look through. I've heard that the day and night cycle isn't like quite as vicious in this game. As it could be. We've got a couple backpacks and things here and like what looks like a suitcase. Let's bust that open. I'm going to continue to try and be really quiet as we move through here because I don't want to get into trouble, but we'll see how it goes. A, ooh, a pump shotgun. Badass. So that might be useful down the line. Now she's encumbered, which means she's not going to be able to sprint. So I'm going to head back to the church. And I think this is a reasonable spot to break off the episode. We got a lot done here. Oh my god, there's so many. I don't want to use a gun. I'm going to hold off on the gun for now. Alright, let's get back in the truck and we're going to head back to the church. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for another really entertaining episode of State of Decay. I'm really interested to see what the future brings with this game. I am incredibly interested in it at this point. It was one of those games that I wasn't positive I wanted to show off on the channel, but at this point I'm feeling like we made the right decision. So I'll see you guys next time and take care out there, everybody.